Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Car horns are such an integral part of modern driving that we barely think about them. Yet they have a fascinating history, evolving alongside the automobile itself. These devices, now considered standard safety equipment, have undergone significant changes since their inception. In this video, we're going to take a journey back in time to explore the history of car horns, how they evolved from simple noisemakers to sophisticated warning systems, and the role they play in road safety today. Before automobiles hit the roads, streets were bustling with horses, carriages, pedestrians, and cyclists. Cities were loud and chaotic, so drivers of horse-drawn carriages often used bells, whistles, and even their voices to warn others of their presence. But as the automobile began to emerge at the end of the 19th century, it became clear that a more effective signaling system was needed. The earliest cars, often referred to as horseless carriages, were powered by steam or electric motors and were much quieter than today's internal combustion engines. This presented a unique problem. Pedestrians and other road users couldn't hear the vehicles approaching. This led to the birth of the car horn as a tool to announce a vehicle's presence on the road. The first standardized car horns appeared in the early 1900s and were rudimentary by today's standards. One of the earliest types was the bulb horn, which consisted of a simple rubber bulb attached to a metal horn. By squeezing the bulb, air would be forced through the horn, producing a honking sound. While this may seem primitive, it served its purpose for the slow-moving vehicles of the time. It was an efficient way to get the attention of pedestrians, horses, and other drivers. However, as cars became faster and more common on the roads, there was a need for something louder and more reliable than the bulb horn. Enter the Klaxon horn, invented by American electrical engineer Miller Reese Hutchison in 1908. The Klaxon was revolutionary because it was powered by electricity, making it far more consistent and louder than the bulb horn. It operated by using an electrically driven diaphragm to create a loud and distinctive sound most famously described as a huga. This sound quickly became iconic and was widely used in early automobiles. The name klaxon itself is derived from the Greek word klazo, meaning to shriek, which perfectly describes the noise it produced. The klaxon horn became a standard feature in many cars and its effectiveness in alerting others to the presence of a vehicle made it immensely popular in the 1920s and 1930s. Despite its success, the klaxon horn eventually fell out of favor as car designs advanced. By the 1930s and 1940s, manufacturers were looking for horns that produced a more refined sound. While the ahuga sound of the klaxon was effective, it was also rather jarring, which didn't match the sleek and more sophisticated designs of automobiles at the time. Car makers began experimenting with different tones and sounds, resulting in the modern electric horn that we are familiar with today. This type of horn uses an electromagnetic coil to vibrate a metal diaphragm rapidly, producing a sharp, loud sound. These electric horns were quieter than the klaxon, but still loud enough to be effective, and they were considered a better fit for the evolving automobile industry. Car horns became even more refined, as automobile production grew and cars became faster, safety became a paramount concern. Car horns were seen as a crucial safety feature, and regulations began to emerge regarding their use. For instance, in the 1950s and 1960s, many countries introduced laws mandating that all motor vehicles be equipped with horns that met specific sound level requirements. This standardization ensured that car horns were loud enough to be heard over the growing noise pollution in urban environments, but not so loud as to cause undue annoyance. As time went on, the variety of car horns expanded. 
some manufacturers began offering multi-tone horns, which played different notes to create a more pleasant and less abrasive sound. These multi-tone horns became particularly popular in luxury cars, where manufacturers wanted every aspect of the vehicle to reflect sophistication, even the horn. Some high-end cars even featured musical horns that could play short tunes or melodies. However, while these novelty horns were fun, they never became mainstream due to safety concerns. Standardization once again became a priority, with most modern car horns being designed to emit a single powerful tone that cuts through the noise of traffic. In recent decades, car horn technology hasn't changed much, but the way we use them has. Horns remain an essential part of the vehicle's safety system, yet their usage has become regulated and in some places discouraged due to concerns over noise pollution. Many cities around the world have introduced no honking zones, where drivers can be fined for unnecessary horn use. In these areas, horns are only to be used in emergencies or when absolutely necessary reflecting a growing awareness of the impact of noise on urban environments. Interestingly, the future of car horns may see significant changes as electric and autonomous vehicles become more common. Electric vehicles are much quieter than traditional cars, which has prompted some manufacturers to develop new types of warning sounds for both the car's horn and for general vehicle movement. In 2019, the European Union passed a regulation requiring EVs to emit artificial sounds at low speeds to alert pedestrians and cyclists to their presence. These sounds can vary from hums to beeps, but the idea is similar to the purpose of early car horns to ensure that everyone is aware of a vehicle's presence. Autonomous cars may also lead to new developments in horn technology as these self-driving vehicles will need to communicate with pedestrians and other road users in entirely new ways. Some companies are even exploring the possibility of using lights, sounds, and even projected messages to enhance communication between autonomous vehicles and their surroundings. The history of car horns is a reflection of the evolution of the automobile itself. From the early days of bulb horns and klaxons to the sleek, refined sounds of modern electric horns, these devices have always played a crucial role in road safety. As cars continue to evolve, especially with the rise of electric and autonomous vehicles, it's likely that car horns will adapt as well, continuing to serve as an essential tool for communication and safety on the road. Whether it's a simple honk or a sophisticated alert system, the car horn will remain a vital part of the driving experience for years to come. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.